tell me this then. How do you keep, or how do you have a tight team? Like, you get a lot of cats in with that, you know. I need to find me a good manager. I need to find me a good role manager. I need to find me a count. Man, I need to find this. How does the Wayne got it? Me? I would say my lifetime experience, my career experience, got me everybody that's around me right now. So I'm kind of blessed. I don't know, I can't speak for nobody else, but I can tell, I can kind of give you a guideline of what to do. And what to do is you, of course, it's like picking a, it's like, it's like picking a team when you play football and you play, you have to pick. You're going to pick the best player first, whoever get the best player. And it's like you look so the best player, you're looking for what you what that player can do the best. I'm gonna pick this nigga cause he can run the fast. I'm gonna pick this nigga cause he can catch the best. So therefore, if you got money, I need somebody to count my money. I'm making too much money. You know, I need an accountant. Is this a good accountant? Check their history, check their, their resume. That's what you need on your team. Check what they didn't did, who they didn't help. Go to somebody they didn't help, ask them about them, like, yo, you know. What about this situation I heard they help you out with? Ask them about situations, shit like that. But me, in my, my case, my best friend is my road manager, Cortez. And I just chose this nigga because he went to school for this shit. He didn't go to school for man, but he went to school for to graduate and run some shit with his dog. And that's what I'm letting him do. And he handled his business 150 billion percent, so I ain't tripping. White Bread, Melissa, this is a girl I met on tour, on the Rough Rider tour a long time ago. She was doing this same thing that she's, she's my manager. She was managing Eve before she was managing me. Me and her, me and her got cool. I started seeing how she, was, how she took care of everything Eve ever wanted. Like, to me, in my eyesight, I was like, damn, Eve, her, Eve got it made just by having this bitch right here. And so I was like, I met her recently again in Houston, like uh, probably a year ago. Super Bowl, the last Super Bowl, I met her in Houston. She had like a billion ideas for me already. And I was like, let's go with it. Anybody that's trying to help you out, you can't, you can't like. And she was trying, I mean, you a motherfucker try to help you out, like, and be like, I got some shit for you to, that can make you some money. That's help, that's good. You can fuck with them, you could not. She was trying to help me out on 10 different fucking subjects. Like, I could get you a spot out here. Your rent ain't going to be nothing but this. I could get you some, I could put you on a tour real quick. I could get you on some songs, get some money. We could do some walk-ins while we out here, get some more money. Uh, we could go to the game, sit front row. Um, you can go to school. And, ro and, and mind you, if I'm lying, I'm dying. I did everything she said. Everything. I did walk-ins for 7500 I never did that. I swear, I never did that. I did walk-ins for $10,000. I moved. Now my price is 15 to 20 G just to come walk in your building. I did shows that quick. For, she, she made me like she made me like $75,000 on Super Bowl weekend. And, I, and I, left, I left Houston with a condo out, a three-bedroom condo that I love. And, and I'm in school for political science and psychology. Like, she took care of everything she said she'd take care of. So that's why she's my manager. And as far as my team, my PA, my personal assistant, that's Young Ma. I have two of those. I got him and his twin brother, Capo. Capo take care of everything at home. He just a, he's a good dude. I know everything about him. I mean, if anything go wrong, nigga, I, I, nigga, I know you. I know everything about him. I know where you at. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even about that, but I'm just saying that's the way I feel about that situation. That's why he take care of everything at home. As far as Ma, that nigga there, I mean, his heart, he got a heart like, unlike no other. You know what I'm saying? It's like the way he is, when he do one thing, it's like he just did a million things. So that's, you know what I'm saying? That's Ma and that. I keep him around for that simple reason. And plus, I... If I ever, if I ever left my old side, I really don't know what he'll do, and so I don't want to know, and that's that's that. And as far as my rappers, man, when I look for rap, when I look for rappers, I don't look, I didn't look for the hottest spitter who could spit the best and nothing like that. I look for what I like, like something catchy, something people gonna like, something that's gonna make somebody pay attention. Currency, 
his style's so different, so unorthodox, it make you pay attention. Like this little nigga snapping. And Maine, his appearance doesn't even look like he can make you think he can rap. And when he spit, he can spit. And that's enough for me. And real, he just so hood with a voice like an angel. And once he open his mouth, that's it. And I, I mean, that's good for me. I'm good. I, I roll with that. That's my team. Ride or die.